Sandusky pimped out young boys to rich donors. And you click on the headline. You can see that at DrudgeReport.com. We also have it up at InfoWars.com. There it is at Rivals.com. Penn State scandal. Rumor claims he pimped out boys to rich donors. Ladies and gentlemen, I've got the timeline here. We're going to cover this when we come back. Again, people ask, how does this evil get away with it? Once people get into positions of incredible power over billion-dollar organizations, be it universities, government, major corporations, over institutions, they knowingly engage in crimes and get others involved who just know, like the head coach and, and the president and others, of the university, so then they can compromise them on every issue. It's called a corruption. It's not corruption, a corruption, a corrupting. Okay? And it turns out the police knew about this 15 years ago and covered it up. Of course they did. Of course they did. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. You've heard Alex explain how the Silver Lungs Generator infuses the respiratory system with your self-produced colloidal silver solutions, yet many are unaware of the entire function of the Silver Lungs system and how it has been designed to deliver your silver solutions anywhere in or on the body. My name is Mario Cifaldi, and I'm the developer of the Silver Lungs Generator. Not only does the Silver Lungs system produce endless colloidal and ionic silver solutions, it also comes equipped with the proper applicators and devices needed to deliver your silver solutions directly to key target areas. This includes the eyes, ears, nose, lungs, topically to the skin, and orally for the digestive system. Be sure to watch our new 7-minute video tour of the Silver Lung System at www.silverlungs.com to learn more about how the Silver Lung System works. As well, we are always ready to answer any questions you may have. That's www.silverlungs.com. Hi, this is Alex Jones. This holiday season, more than half of our nation is in need of help due to the shattered economy. So now is the time to express the holiday spirit more than ever. Consider helping those you love with the most important gift, a supply of delicious, easy to fix, and very storable foods from eFoodsDirect.com. Their holiday gift and family pack start at $99 for a 16-day supply. All their five-week supply of quick and easy-to-fix meals includes a personal backpack in case of a grab-and-go emergency. Order their combo gift pack, and you'll save hundreds, plus get free shipping on your entire order. Call eFoods today at 800-409-5633 or visit them online at eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex to find the special. That's 800-409-5633 or eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex. You can bet your life on eFoods Direct. When you're out on the road, the last place you want to be is on the road. But if the unfortunate happens, you'll be glad you were wearing diamond gussets. There's a place down in Tennessee where they make blue diamond gusset jeans. They so pride in every stitch. Guarantee you love the way they fit. They put a diamond gusset in the crotch where you need it most. Blue diamond gussets got it. Others don't. We turn jeans inside out. Diamond gusset jeans. Made in the USA with unparalleled quality. Our Defender motorcycle jeans combine gusset comfort with Kevlar protection. So you can ride all day with confidence. Order yours at gusset.com. Diamond gusset jeans got it. Others don't. Live from Austin, Texas, broadcasting worldwide, it's Alex Jones. You know, a lot of times I refuse to cover the big national stories if I think it's a bunch of fluff. I'll give a brief comment like I've done on Herman Cain. But you can't prove what's happening to Cain one way or the other, and there's a lot of dirt on both sides. I think he comes off very credible. But the guy came off credible saying Ron Paul was wrong about him attacking Ron Paul supporters and folks that want to audit the Fed when he's on record on TV, radio, and in print saying it. 
And I mean, he's probably the best liar I've ever seen. So, but so I just don't go there. I know where he stands on issues. We don't need the federal government involved in sales taxes and VAT, and they're going to keep all the other taxes. That's why I don't like Herman Cain on issues I can prove, not on a bunch of witch hunts. And let me tell you, these Democratic operative women, I, every one of them's got connections to it that I've seen, and it stinks to high heaven. So I haven't covered that. But on this Penn State situation, I've been busy looking at what's happening in Iran, busy looking at what's happening economically. Uh, everybody who researches what's happening in the world is really freaked out right now. Everybody feels a disturbance in the force, as Obi-Wan Kenobi would say, or as the Bible would say, a, a, a disturbance in the spirit. My discernment is just uh, alarm bells are going off. And always they have these type of scandals that are brought forward and triggered. You, so you got to ask yourself, well, hey, I'm going to cover this because it illustrates the way the world really works on so many points of the compass. It's a window into the real world, into denial, into powerful groups, into cover-ups, into group psychology, into tribalism, into media, and into why has it been triggered now? I have the timeline here. It goes back to 1994 at least. And it turns out the police knew... As of 1998, and the university pressured them. The reporters all got threatened. I mean, this is all in the news now. And they were able to cover up, and this guy was able to continue. And, 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 and here, here's an even bigger issue. I am hearing sports writers, because I've been following this now more closely the last few days, because it's such an incredible window into how the real world works, as I just said. They're actually saying we've got to continue the season. We have, uh, you know, the, the the coach shouldn't have been fired, the head coach, and this big mob. I'll play a clip in a minute of students saying, "Bring back the coach one more game." They're not even worried about the fact that there's a university. All of their board should be gone. That was part of this. The president. It's not enough. All of them, all of the coaches, undoubtedly. I mean, listen, if I was a coach and I walked into the shower and I saw somebody raping a 10-year-old child, number one, I would beat, I would stomp the living hell out of them, excuse me. I mean, believe me, ladies and gentlemen, who wouldn't? I'm not some macho guy. It's clobbering time. That guy's going to have a broken jaw and his nose is going to be hanging off. I'm going to have blood coming out of my fist. I'm going to be hitting them so hard, I'm splitting my knuckles. But you know what? I realized this, and my wife's a witness to it, and I'm nothing special. Everybody came up and said, you're a hero. I was in a LaMatta line eight years ago. My son was about two. So eight and a half years ago or so. And this woman with her family starts choking. I'm in the bathroom, and I hear yelling. I go to wash my hands, you know, I come back out, and there's a woman with all these people standing around saying, dial 911, and she's turning blue. It's been going on about a minute while I've been in there. And I say, give her the Heimlich. Who knows how to do it? Of course, I took it when just a little junior fire department thing, not a full certification, when I was on swim team the fourth year, when I was like 13. Last year I did it. I should have stayed in it, man. But the point is that... I had to then start going, well, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. And they were going, no, no, wait for police. D we're, dial 911. Everybody's dialing 911. And I, and I said, it'll take them on average 12 minutes to get here. And I have to shove them. And somebody starts shoving on me. And I get over to the woman. She's now on the table, purple. This has been going on a minute and a half. Okay. And they're going, how dare you? Oh, my God, you're going to hurt her. And she's, she's somewhat overweight. She probably weighed 200 pounds. And I stand her up, I get her up, and I do the Heimlich, do it once, do it twice, to do it hard. She goes, Bleh, and a big ball of bread with a little bit of vomit comes out. And she goes, and she's like, oh, and, then I'm like, and everybody's like, oh, you're a hero, stay here. And I knew this was a bunch of ninnies. I'd probably get sued if I broke her rib or something because I had to really pick her up. 
Uh, and I was like, get out of here. We're not even going to finish eating. Let's go. My wife's like, why not? They're like, you're a hero. You're a hero. This was demonic ninnies. I had to get out of there. So, so I don't understand it. I mean, I walk into a shower. Somebody's got a 10-year-old bent over raping them. I mean, it, it, you, I am going to stomp the daylights out of you. I am going to, I mean, I'd be uncontrolled. I guarantee you, once I got you on the ground, you're going to get stomps. I mean, you're going to get stomped. Stomp from the feet right up to the head, like a kangaroo. Boom, 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 boom. It's, it's, oh, yeah, you're probably not going to live. And so the issue here is that that's what my instinct says. That's my gut. I walk around a corner into a shower and somebody's raping a kid. You're going to be lucky, lucky if I don't kill you. Okay? I don't understand this culture now where they say one out of 10 people will rush in during an emergency. That's why I admire firefighters, the men and women of firefighting. I admire police. I'll be honest with you. The profession of a peace officer charging in against criminals, charging into danger, that's what humanity's all about. That's why it's so evil it's been corrupted. They haven't corrupted the firefighters yet, and God bless them, and I contribute to them and, and uh, give the volunteer fire departments as much as I can. They're just great men and women. And they're trying to turn them into spies against the people. It makes me so sick. But the fact that for, I don't know, what's 94 to 2011? How many, is that 16 years? 17 years, how long is it? 17 years. And this shows how corruption works. How in mobs of people, I'm sure a very small percentage of them were involved in the raping of children. But... They knew, and then for the system, they cover it up. And that's how the big mega banks work, stealing tens of trillions. That's how derivatives work. That's how this plausible deniability works. That's how this corruption works, where the average citizen doesn't put their inspection sticker on a half inch to the right spot. You get the book thrown at you. Or citizens do things that really aren't even illegal, but a regulatory go to jail. And the system throws the book at us. Microphones in the lamps, post listening to us, face scanning cameras, total corruption, and the attorney general's on record perjuring himself about shipping guns into Mexico and bringing drugs into the U.S. And Janet Napolitano has been caught doing it. They've all been caught doing it. And, and I understand people who aren't evil find this hard to believe because you're naive. Good people have a blind spot. Believe me. I had a blind spot when I was 11 years old and got off the bus and the cool 14, 15 year old said, hey, come play in the fort with us in the woods and then beat the living snot out of me. Let's see, I had a wake up call. I thought all the cops were the best people in the world growing up till I saw cops dealing drugs where I grew up. But you got to grow up sometime. You know what I mean? Because being naive, thinking it's cool to be naive Behaving like that is what allows a Nazi Germany or a Soviet Russia or a communist China or an authoritarian Pol Pot or Ceausescu or any of these scum. People think they can decide to not believe something. I have people tell me that all the time. Intelligent people, they go, I choose not to believe that. And I go, but look at the facts. I'm not looking at it. I hear what you're saying. I just can't believe that. And it's the same thing I've talked about in criminology. I study criminology a lot because it's a window into human activity. And all of us are a little criminal at some level. It's called sin. It's called aberrant behavior. All of us, you know, you know, have some type of bad side. Just with some people, it's, it, it's, it's all they are. And people always go, he was such a nice old man when they find 25 bodies buried in their basement. Or she was such a nice lady when they find, you know, dead kids buried in her, in her basement or whatever. People can't ever believe this. And when you get a big institution like a university, when you get a big institution like a big church uh, or international church, or you get a big institution like the Boy Scouts or a big institution like the state police or a big institution like the local police or a big institution.